सो गाइज आई हेयर बाय वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस अमेजिंग कंपेरिजन बोट वेव कनेक्ट वर्ड्स इज बोट वॉच स्टॉक सो बेसिकली वी आर कंपेयरिंग बोट वॉचेज विथ ईच अदर बट द फीचर्स आर बिट डिफरेंट इन ईच ऑफ द वॉचेज फर्ट यू फर्स्ट यू हैव टू डिसाइड योर सेल्फ इफ यू वॉन्ट अ कॉलिंग वॉच और इफ यू वॉन्ट अ फिटनेस वॉच सो सिंपली बोट वॉच स्टॉम प्रो is having amoled display as compared to both wave connect which is having tft lcd display so the display and display department is also different so uh, let's get to the video and if you are new to this channel you can subscribe to this channel as well as you can join our another channel which we post hindi videos mainly for unboxing rebound reviews or comparisons so let's get started if we uh, consider about uh, the display department both watch storm is having a large display 1.7 inch inches that is always on amoled display and uh, the pixel size is amazing that is of 368 pixels as compared to wave connect is only having 1.6 inches tft lcd display and uh, it's having 240 pixels low resolution display so in display department straight away storm pro is a winner clear winner and we are also getting always on display as well as raised to wake in storm pro as compared to wave connect in which we are getting only raised to wake again we are also getting 2.5d curved glass and uh, still company haven't claimed any specific uh, curved glass production or something but tempered glass production is always there in every watch and the pixel per inch sharpness that is sharpness uh, when we put any pick as a watch face uh, if the pick is pixelated or not this that is known as the sharpness so the sharpness is uh, good enough in both the watches but considering about uh, peak brightness the peak brightness is something better in storm pro as compared to wave connect but overall if you put both the watches in sunlight the visibility is good enough in both the watches but still in display department i will say storm pro has done a great job storm, storm pro is a clear winner and the second thing watch faces the watch faces are bit higher side on wave connect you can store 10 watch faces in the watch itself that is great as compared to storm pro you are getting only 6 watch faces and the last watch face that is sixth you can change you can sync and you can put your pick as a watch face that's it in wave connect you can put 3 plus watch faces your uh, personal pick as a watch face in 3 into watch faces so that is good part in wave connect and again you are not getting any live watch face but you are getting analog watch faces in both the watches again if we go ahead in fitness tracking and sports mode the storm pro is having humongous 700 sports mode but the wave connect is having only 60 sports mode it is a misprint that is 100 so uh, don't mind it wave uh, wave connect is only having 60 sports mode that is a calling watch but again a calling watch is giving 60 sports mode that is great and uh, i have already told you that storm pro is a fitness watch not a calling watch so both the watches is having good ip rating that is ip68 but i thought to have storm pro to be 518 water resistant instead of ip68 so this is a flaw in storm pro as compared to wave connect and again 85% accuracy is present in both the watches dedicated sensor are present in both the watches and with the uh, all the sensors present that is accelerometer optical heart rate sensor and gyro sensor is present in both the watches again wave connect is having alexa built in that is not present in storm pro and wave connect is also having a calling watch so if we move further and talk about extra features both the watches are having extra features but storm pro doesn't have calling feature that is only voice uh, that is only uh, vibration alerts you can get in the watch and uh, call ready call cut mute you can do in the watch itself wave connect is having calling feature you will get dial pad you can dial contacts from the watch itself you can do 40% of your work from the watch and you can put your ringtones as well as the uh, message tone in the watch itself again you are getting full touch panel on both the watches but the fluidity is amazing in storm pro it is 60 hertz display panel and that is amoled display as well but the wave connect is bit a laggy interface but again it's a calling watch right so uh, if we call about alarm clock stopwatch convert time weather notification some small features are present in both the watches and uh, world clock is also present and uh, like uh, torch light is also present but in wave connect a uh, main feature feature is missing that is camera control maybe company will add in future updates and the bluetooth version is 5.1 in both watch storm and in wave connect you are getting bluetooth version 5.0 again the main features are find my phone camera shutter 
and not the music control is present in wave connect uh, not the camera control is present in wave connect and uh, you are getting alexa as, as well as noise detection option is wave, wave connect in storm pro you are getting find my phone camera shutter music control cricket scores yes it's a unique feature which is present in storm pro when your phone is connected to the internet it will show cricket live cricket scores and and uh, you can pair both the watches with android and ios as well so if you go further and talk about soft and hardware you are getting similar hardware spec in both watches and uh, you can't store any music files on the watch itself but thus we get in these the, these watches the custom ui is different in both the watches wave connect is having two into uh, menus as compared to storm pro is having only one grid menu and uh, you are getting single button control in both the watches and uh, you can also make use of the gestures present in the watch up down left right so if we talk about battery backup and charging so the battery capacity of both watch storm is 200 mh as compared to wave connect which is having 300 mh capacity that is bigger so uh, many of many of you people will ask why the wave connect is having a large battery size as compared to storm pro storm pro is having amoled display that's why we can include smaller battery with a higher higher uh, run time so storm pro is better in comparison to wave connect and uh, again if we use the uh, amoled display the chassis of the main watch the main body of the watch may be thinner as compared to wave connect which is more thicker than storm pro and the company is claiming 7 days of battery life in storm pro as compared to wave connect is having 10 days of battery life and magnetic charging is present in both the watches but i will recommend you to use 15 to 20 watt charger in both the watches but not that 30 watt or 50 watt book charging is de- definitely harmful for your uh, watches right and uh, let's talk about the run time storm pro is having 200 mh capacity but company has claimed 6 days of battery life if you don't use health monitoring features but wave connect if you use health monitoring features you will get, get 5 days 4 to 5 days battery life but if you use heavily then you will get around 2 days of battery life from the wave connect and in storm pro if you use if you use a uh, heavy then you will get only around 5 uh, days of battery life in storm pro again if you go further and talk about main features storm pro is having heart rate as compared to wave connect is also having the same specs and uh, sleep monitor is present as pure to hr monitor is present as well as calorie burn strap tracking sedentary reminder as well as female health tracking is present so the both the watches is having same main features and uh, both the watches are winner and the build quality if we consider build quality the build quality of storm pro is amazing at 45 grams and storm pro is having aluminum cases as compared to wave connect which is having polycarbonate build but it is rugged build and look and feel is premium thus wave connect is having a compact size as compared to storm pro which is bit larger size as compared to wave connect but the storm pro is again a premium watch as compared to wave connect but the strap size is same in both the watches but the mechanism is different in wave connect you have to buy it from the official website if you want to buy the straps of wave connect but the storm pro is having typical normal straps which can be easily available in the market so again the strap quality is best in both the watches which is silicon strap based quality and uh, the dial and base is made of polycarbonate in wave connect as compared to storm pro which is aluminum build i'm a bit confused about both the watches exactly cause storm pro is a calling uh, storm pro is a fitness watch not a calling watch wave connect is a calling watch so it's a 500 rupees hype uh, hike uh, in terms of uh, quality and uh, overall functionality if you can give 500 rupees extra you will be getting calling feature alexa built in noise detection option and also uh, i think a compact design and in if you are giving less 500 rupees that is 299 rupees you are getting amoled display punchy colors sports mode again 700 sports mode uh, cricket updates as well as overall large display quality large display so it's up to you if you want large display with the great uh, colors accuracy and again a huge uh, tons of uh, sports mode then you can go for storm pro but if you need a calling watch from boot as well as you want uh, alexa feature then you have to go for wave connect so i think it's a tie from my side uh, if you ask me which watch i will choose then i will choose wave connect overall i am using it and it is a best buy watch it is a good watch 
But if you can get it for two triple nine rupees, then it will be amazing deal, right? So wait for some time. Maybe it will come for around two triple nine rupees in a Republic Day sale. I can't claim it, but uh, maybe it can come. So uh, it's a simple comparison from my side. I think I have cleared your doubts. So if you have any queries or questions, you can ask me. So up till then, we will meet it again. Till then, bye bye.